It's Air Farce, New Year's Eve 2013. Starring Don Ferguson, Luba Goy, Penelope Corrin, Craig Lozon, Alan Park, and Arnold Pinnock. With special guest stars Misha Brooker gossman Chris Hadfield, Nahid Nenshi, Lloyd Robertson, Milos Raonic, Serena Ryder, Steve Smith, PJ Stock, and Pat Thornton. It's Air Farce, New Year's Eve. Road to the Olympics with PJ Stock and Heather Hiscox. Hello, I'm the princess of perkiness, Heather Hiscox. And I'm PJ Stock. With the Sochi Olympics just weeks away, skeleton gold medalist John Montgomery has begun his training. <laughs> the proudest moment for any Canadian is winning gold and hearing our national anthem. Debate is brewing over changes to the lyrics. Critics feel there needs to be an updated version. We're joined now by the person at the center of the issue, Margaret Atwood. Yes. Hello, PJ. I'm so excited for the Olympics, I can barely contain my bladder. Ms. Atwood, what changes are you proposing to the national anthem? I've written a new gender-neutral, non-controversial, politically correct version. Let's hear it. Oh, Canada. That's it. Catchy. Ms. Atwood, what are you doing in Team Canada's locker room? Oh, haven't you heard? I've just been added to the lineup for the men's hockey team. I'm shocked by this decision. Not as shocking as you being picked as judge on Battle of the Blades. Oh, she shoots, she scores. <laughs> Thanks, Margaret. <laughs> The 2014 Winter Olympics torch relay is underway right now and is poised to be the longest ever. Along this 65,000 kilometer journey, 14,000 torchbearers carry the Olympic flame. For an update, we go live to Russia. Carrying the torch now is Russia's oldest Olympic athlete, Ludmila Blazkov. She first competed in the 1928 Olympics where she won gold for frozen field plowing. Oh, what a shame, the flame has gone out. She seems to be looking for something. She must be really dehydrated. Something tells me that isn't water. The uh, biggest controversy surrounding the games is Russian President Vladimir Putin's anti-gay stance against athletes. He joins us now via satellite. Now look, Canada. <laughs> this is my anti-gay stance. Glad to be on CBC. I love Stephen and Chris. <laughs> Those guys crack me up. President Putin, your position on gay athletes has caused uproar around the world. Athletes need to be strong, not sissy. Russia's most decorated Olympian embodies everything that is truly masculine. Come here, Pavel Poponovic. Hi, Canada! President Putin, don't you think he's a little... Overqualified? You bet. He's going to win big medals for us. Look at these arms, like Russian bear thighs, thick as tree trunks. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Mr. Putin, are you worried about protesters interrupting the games? Yet. Russia's policemen are the toughest in the world. <laughs> Construction at all the Olympic venues finish on time. Yeah, my men are hard at work. <laughs> Will transportation to and from events be a problem? Yet, I have just demand for that. <laughs> what about terrorist threats? No worries. Pavel goes undercovers. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have important Olympic business to take care of. We're going for a steam at the Y. Bye! Well, that's it for Road to the Olympics. Go Team Canada!